What's going on guys? Welcome to your 12th Java game tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to start doing some uh, collision detection. Very basic, very simple collision detection. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our platform class and this is where we're going to check for the collision with the ball. So what we want to do is within our update method, um, because again this gets called every time we loop through our thread, this is where we're going to check for collision and we're just actually going to create a method called check for a collision. Let's create that bad boy. So now we have a method called check for collision, but what we actually want to do is we want to have some reference to the ball that we have. Um, in the previous tutorial we had the get and the set, but again within our platform class we don't know which ball object we're looking at. Um, so actually for our update method we're going to also pass in the applet information and also the ball that we're checking collision with. So we're going to refer to a ball object, call this ball B, and we're going to say check for collision and we're going to pass in the information of the ball that our update uh, class will get you know, um, passed in. And then within our check for collision we will also want to say hey we're getting a ball object being passed in. So now we have a ball object. The only other thing that we have to do to get the information of the actual ball that we're controlling is go into the starting point class and again our p update this is our platform update it passes in the starting point which is again our applet but we also want to pass in the ball that we're working with and we've set up uh, two balls right now on the screen but we're just gonna um, refer to ball b because we have ball b and ball b2 ball b is the one that we control with the left and right arrow keys so that's also the one that we want to check for collision detection uh, eventually we're just going to delete ball B um, because we aren't really going to use it uh, too much there. So you can either delete that now or in a another tutorial I'm just probably going to get rid of it right now. Um, all of the ball B stuff there. So alright and we are good to keep, uh, keep continuing here. Uh, so let's save this. Um, the next thing that we want to do is uh, go back to our ball class and also say uh, get radius because we're going to need that um, as well if you guys didn't do that in the last tutorial just say uh, get radius method that's going to return a radius for us because we might need that within our um, ball class within our platform class I'm sorry so now we get the information from again our ball called B um, that's that we control within our applet so what we're going to do now within this check for collision is set up some integers like ball x we're going to set this equal to the ball object that we get passed in and then we're just going to say get x and that's just going to return the x value of our ball so the center um, of the horizontal of our ball and then we're also going to refer to the ball y and then just again that's going to be b equal get y um, and radius I believe they're all integers uh, b radius or get radius so all we're doing is getting the information from the ball and we're going to check that collision with also the information of our specific platform. So we have we have our ball x, our ball y, and our ball radius. Um, so again, the x and the y value is in the center of our ball. We actually probably can just check for the very bottom of our ball. We might uh, change this here in a bit, but what we're going to do is pretend. Let me tr try and draw this and pretend I'm drawing something. But here is a circle. All we're going to check for a collision is at the very bottom of our circle for right now. If that's on top of the platform or in the platform somewhere, we're going to change the direction of our ball. So what we're going to say is if um, ball x plus radius. Um, so again, all that's saying is, hey, uh, this is the bottom of our ball. Or I'm sorry, ball y. What am I, what am I doing here? Ball y plus the radius um, is greater than uh, our platform y, and so we're going to say if that's greater than y, um, and again ball y plus radius less than our y, again referring to where our platform is, um, plus let's say like 32. Um, so we have a little bit of leeway there because, or actually let's do our height plus our height here. And I'll explain exactly what this is. Um, 
uh, here once we're done with this. But so what we're going to do is we're actually going to say b dot set dx um, again d or I'm sorry dy because that's the up and down speed, um, and we're going to set our dy uh, to the opposite direction. So so our dy or our speed in the y direction was a double. So we're going to set up another double. And we're going to say uh, new dy. We're going to set this equal to whatever our ball's current dy speed or speed in uh, the vertical direction is. And then we're going to also uh, times that by a negative one. So all we're doing is changing the direction of our current, uh, current y speed. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set our ball's dy here to our new or our uh, new dy, which is basically, again, just the reverse order. So it'll shoot the ball back upwards. So let's check this out, see how that looks and works. So I'm going to save this here. And it looks pretty good, right? Um, I mean, it's kind of a simple code there. But if we move over, uh, that's the problem. It's, it's always going to be above um, or it's always going to bounce off because we aren't checking the x direction at all. We're just checking the y direction. So in the next tutorial, we'll get the x figured out and get a little bit better collision going on. Um, so thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good one. Catch you later.